Hi everyone, I'm coming on with a quick video. Um, yesterday I done a little tip and trick with Inca Gold, okay? And Janet Stokes mentioned about hers becoming really dry and being unusable. Um, saying that she was having to spritz it with water. Now, I've opened all my Inca Golds. Now, this one here, I hadn't even opened. And it's orange. This is how you get it, okay? And it's a soft paste. So when you rub your finger on it, it comes off on your finger, okay? Like, go away light. Comes off in your finger like that. Okay. Um. I don't know why I had never opened it to be honest, because I've had them for ages. But orange isn't really my colour. But I liked it, so I bought it. Right, so that was orange. So that's how they are when you get them. But after a wee while, they can come out like this here. Okay, and I've got a little bit of fluid in this that I've not long put in. Um, and what it is, is I've emptied this bottle. It's not glossy accents on it. And it's 50-50 mix of vegetable glycerin that you can get in the chemist or in the baking aisle. Or you can order it online. I ordered mine online from Mother Nature's Goodies. Okay, that's mine and I've had it for ages and I've still got about half a bottle there um, it's great so that's a 50-50 mix and the only reason I put it in that is because it's more manageable with the fine tip so what I've done this one here was really 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 dry and had quite a lot of mould sitting on the top of it so what I done was I moistened it with just my mix and then I took a bit of toilet paper you can use kitchen roll you could use um, baby wipes whatever is handy to you and then all I done was I went round the top of it and just took off basically the top layer okay then just folded it and done it again now you'll see like this part here has actually came off because it's so broken up so I've just turned that and I'll do it again And that means that there's no more mould in it, okay? And I'll be honest, if this was going on a project for a child, I wouldn't use Inca Gold, okay? Simply because I know that it does have a tendency to mould up. Um, and I wouldn't want any kids putting any of my projects near their mouth do you know what I mean I just think mm, it's not the best idea but for an adult they're not going to eat your project do you know what I mean so it doesn't bother me that there's been a wee bit of mould on it it really doesn't it looks grotesque but realistically it's not going to harm anyone as long as you take the worst off the top of it the quality of your product isn't going to change. This was another one that was quite moulded. Um, and this is hematite. No, graphite. So again, just going over the top of it. And taking off 
basically the top layer okay and that's it just bin that toilet paper and you get yourself covered but it's fine once you've took that off okay my suggestion would be to put I mean that's got plenty of fluid in it okay there's a wee rim going round that so what I would do is put the lid on that and let it sit for 24 hours okay and then what you should find is it will soften to a soft paste again so I will put the lid back on that and store it sitting the way that it should be that way the moisture is staying in the cream in the paste the same with this one there is still plenty of moisture in that to soak up so I will put the lid on that and store it for 24 hours now these ones here aren't too bad but you can see at the side that it is starting to come away so you know that it is starting to dry up okay so what I would do with that is just add a little bit so just where the cracks are drop in a few drops in the same round the sides just go around a little bit to add some moisture and you will see now there's not thousands of moisture in there I mean you can see a crack on the side there in the paste but I have added enough moisture to kind of rejuvenate it okay so I will just add another wee bit into that crack because it's actually absorbed already and there actually might be deeper cracks further down so I will just until I can see it sitting just on the surface of it I just keep adding a wee drop here and there there we go so there's a wee bit of moisture in that now and again lid on it and leave it for 24 hours after the 24 hours if it's still quite dry add another wee bit but what I would say is don't over moisten it just keep adding until you're sure and as I said like this one here I have got a wee puddle in the centre there so what I'll do is just go around the sides with it because it is starting to come away from the side of the container and I will just go around the sides with that just so that it re-moistens and make sure that it stays creamy and what I would suggest is maybe doing this every three or four months because they do dry out so quickly I don't know why I have no idea now this one here is actually pretty decent it is just round the sides slightly it's starting to come away so I have actually added just a wee bit of moisture in there and I'll just add a tiny wee bit more into the cracks at the top and a wee bit round the side and that's it done okay so there's not much but it should be enough to soften it again and make it manageable um, this one has got quite a few deep cracks in it so again just add my drops in until I can kind of see that the cracks are filled go around the sides with it just 
just to make sure that there's enough moisture in it. There we go. And again, I'm just going back into that wee crack at the front now. There we go. So, lid on. Leave it for 24 hours. Whoops, a daisy. And it is just about managing them. Um, this one, I have actually added a fair bit of moisture into it already before I came on camera. Um, let me just see. I mean, you can see yourself when I'm pressing on that. I'm adding quite a bit of pressure and it's not giving me much on my finger because it's dry. So again, just add a tiny wee bit of moisture around the sides. And if you feel you've added too much, as I said, I would advise small and regular. So moisten it and then go back to it. But if you've used too much and you've got a puddle on top, when you go back to it, Leave the lid off for a few hours because the heat in your house will evaporate a lot of that moisture. Okay? So it's not a massive issue. Now this one I have regularly done because I use it a lot. This is my silver. Um, so all I've done is added a tiny wee bit of moisture to the top just to keep it moist. And I'm just running around the top of it to let the moisture go all over it and you'll see when you put your finger in it comes off easy and as I said just do that quite regularly and this is how you'll end up with a nice paste all the time um, as I said, I'm just kind of working that um, glycerin and water into my paste because I know that it's moist all the way through. It's just the top that's starting to get a bit dry. So I'm just gently working it in and you'll see there's plenty coming off. So I just scrape my finger on the side of it because I'm not wasting it. And then I'll leave the lid on that and it'll be fine. Last one is this one. Now, as you can see, that's in a bad way. <laughs> um, it's hard as anything. Um, and it's just not very pliable. I mean, I've just pressed that and it's cracked. Um, and the same there, you'll see the crack getting pushed over. It's just dry all the way through. So what I would do there is add loads of moisture to it. Loads and loads. And then just work it about. Okay, and just gently manoeuvre your bits about to try and work that into your um, paste like that. And I just stuck my nail in it so I've got a big dollop of silver or uh, gold under my nail so just I mean if you can just press into it and it just works it again and well if you can kind of compact it into a paste because you're basically then massaging it and 
joining it back together again and you will see it's starting to soften round about my finger okay and look this side was really difficult so I'm going to use just my craft knife pull it away slightly from the side okay just any wee crusty bits that are not looking great just pull them away with your craft knife okay I'm just showing you how I get it to work again because they're not cheap these products I mean they're they cost a fair bit of money so you want to make sure that you can get the maximum use out of them um, I do anyway I wouldn't want to go back out and buy this again when I've got basically a full tub here ready to get used so I'm just re-moistening it again and that's ran out so I will fill that up again so you can see what I'm doing here there we go 50% turn it around so you can see it in the bottle it's up to where am I up to about here and then I've got my spray bottle here with water so I'll just fill that back up to the top with water put the lid on it the nozzle back on put my lid on and give it a good shake just to mix the glass and water together there we go and we're ready to use again so just adding another wee bit of moisture in there there we go and then just again look what I was showing you just use your finger to kind of mash it back in to some sort of consistency that's going to work for you okay so just and as I said drag your finger through it because it's it's all paste it's it's going to work again and these wee bits that are kind of hard in the center and that's fine because when you've left them 24 hours they will be soft and ready to be pliable again to work back into your paste And yeah, it's a bit messy, but to be honest, I would rather be a wee bit messy than spend another five, six quid on another tub of this. And the glycerin will actually help it stay moist longer. Water evaporates really quickly. Glycerin doesn't evaporate as quickly. Um it will keep it quite slick so that's good enough for me to leave for 24 hours now because it's moist um, and I know that underneath that I have compressed quite a bit of it and I'm absolutely covered 
and gold but it's fine it just washes off quite easy Rosie so I hope that's helped um, anybody that's struggling with Inca Gold it's a cracking project uh, a cracking product but it takes a bit of work um, these were bought a wee while ago so I don't know if they've maybe updated it and maybe the newer Inca Golds aren't as bad but as I said, MD that's bought them and has left them in a drawer because of this pull them back out and start working with them because it's worth it well for me it is anyway um, I just I hate seeing product lying that's not being used especially when you paid a fair bit of money for it um, I'm just cleaning up round about it because I made a bit of a mess um, but yeah as I said it's just it's about using what you've got and making it work um, I mean there's probably a lot of folk out there that this is too much hassle for them they would rather go out and buy it again and if you've got the money to do that great but I just think personally if you've got a product work with it so I will leave that for 24 hours to soften completely and then I would come back with it so I hope that's helped um, if anybody else has got more questions or anything just let me know um, I will come back on tomorrow if you want and let you see how they've turned out what ones I need to add more moisture to etc um, just leave me a message in the comments and I will be willing to do that thanks for watching bye for now